NEC Front Row welcomes you live to Heritage Financial Park in Wappinger Falls, New York. This is NEC Baseball and this is Game 3 of the 2024 NEC Baseball Tournament. Coming up, it's our first elimination game as the three-seeded Merrimack Warriors take on the five-seeded Delaware State Hornets. Two on, two out. Here's the one, two. This one is hit. In a right center field, it's going to fall in the gap. Coming in to score, the Warriors have their first run of the game. And it's 1-0 Merrimack in front. Overall hitting 540 with seven homers and 29 RBIs the last 10 games of the season. This is a fly ball in a right field. Scanlon under it, makes the catch. Runner tags, coming in, sacrifice fly successful, and that ties the game at one. Current, that goes up the first baseline, not able to keep it in front of him. Havel will come in and score, and the Warriors retake the lead wow. two to one. Really solid here so far is, is quite surprising, at least to me. Ochu pitch is ripped down the left field line, getting over Zamparo. He lets the ball go past him to the wall, and here comes Chantel all the way around from first base to score, and Merrimack takes a 3-1 to one lead. Brady cruises into second, and the Warriors' offense is sparked again. And he deals. Rip to right field. Coming on is Yorita. He can't make the play. One run will score. Here comes a second. And it is a two-run single for Ferentino. And it's a six-to-one Warriors advantage. See if Bolden can get out of it. His pitch is a curveball hit hard down the left field line. That is a base hit. One run scores. Two runs score. They're going to wave in the third runner, Jamelli. He scores a three run double for Dawson Bryce. Nine to one, Merrimack. Ferentino at first. Delbashian, the number five hitter at the plate. And he drills a curveball wow. deep left field, and you can forget about that one. It is way out of here. A two-run homer. Braden Delbashian, his second today. Merrimack has gone deep 23 straight games, and they now lead it 11 to 1. And I think that shot went over the head of the bear in the woods. Braden Ryan joins us, our player of the game. Six innings, nine hits, one run, uh, two walks, and two strikeouts. What do you think were the keys for you today? Uh, we Defense had my back the whole time. We got the bats going a little later. Uh, I mean, shut him down. Campbell Cassidy came in after, shut him down again. Can't complain. Braden, we were saying here in the booth, you know, you're proving it today, proving it today that you could win and have a great offense without home runs, and ironically, you then won it on the home run. But what can you say about the complete uh, performance, top to bottom of your lineup today? Uh, there's, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, we had it going the whole time. We, the dugout was loud the whole day. Um, yeah, we just the bats started flying at the end. Ball started flying. Braden, tell us if you can how much uh, gas you might have left in your tank. You threw 96 pitches tonight. It didn't seem like it was much of a struggle or a strain because obviously they gave you a nice cushion. But but how much gas you got left in the tank for the rest of the week? I got gas. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Could you guys come out of this bracket and win it? Yeah, of course. We got a good team behind me. We all we all we all want it. Sacred Heart tomorrow. What do you have to do differently tomorrow to that? didn't happen when you met them earlier in the year? Uh, just get the bats, again, get the bats going early, play good defense like we did today in the second game. Just have an all-around good game. All right, Braden, great job. Go celebrate. Congrats. Thank you.